All right, everyone, any questions before we wrap up? Miss, what is the point of all this anyway? If we're alive in five years, it'll be a miracle. Yeah, haven't you heard of climate change? Yeah, and there's almost certainly gonna be another world war. And if that doesn't wipe us out, it'll be the next pandemic. And if we survive that, we'll be broke from the financial crash and we'll be able to afford to eat anyway. Is that right? Where are you guys getting all this information from? It's all over the news almost every day. You should see some of the images of the war on social media. It's so heartbreaking. Some days I can barely even leave the house. It's so depressing. Me too. <sighs> I want to tell you guys a story about a place called Pompeii. I think it's relevant to this time and any time really. Have you guys heard of Pompeii? I have. Uh, that's that ruin, isn't it? That's right. So a very long time ago, there was a volcanic eruption on Mount Vesuvius in the Italian city of Pompeii. Now, because this was a very long time ago, there was no social media like there is today. There was no television, there was no mobile phones. There wasn't even radio, that's how long ago this was. Like around the time you were born, miss? <laughs> very clever. So, because there was no way to warn people, because of this lack of technology at the time, nobody in Pompeii knew how ferociously the volcano was going to erupt. Tragically, over 2,000 people died, almost instantly. However, as tragic as it was, those people died living life. They died while having dinner with their families, playing with their children. Some of them even died in the act of making love. Some people might argue that if there was better technology at the time, more lives could have been saved. Others might say that those people knew how to live more than we do in current society. What do I mean by that? Because there was no information there was no fear. How does that compare to us in today's world? With all of this technology that we have, do we really know how to live better? We're definitely on the earth for a longer time than ever before, but so many of us are spending our days worrying about everything on the news, whether it's the next virus or the next war or the next pandemic. And look, I'm not saying to be reckless or live foolishly, not at all, but do you want to live every day or just survive? Ask yourself, does it feel good to take in every piece of doomsday information that comes across the news? Or does it feel better to live your life regardless of what is or isn't happening in the world? Well, we can't live in the now, miss. We don't know what's happening. Sure, but don't you think you would find out the crucial pieces of information that you need to know regardless of if you watch the news every day? Wouldn't you feel better if you spent less time on your phone? Would you feel better if you were living your life instead of taking in the fear of others? Instead of comparing yourself to others? Wouldn't it be better if you didn't judge other people for living in a way that's different to how you do? <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but I want to live while I'm here. Not in a reckless way, but in a way that ensures that I can make a positive impact on the world while I'm in it. So that's what the point of all of this is. If I can teach you one thing, just forget the fear. Go out and live. I'll see you next week.